Berlin harpsichords gives you two detailed Baroque harpsichords. The harpsichord is most commonly associated with the Baroque period, and these two beautifully sampled instruments are perfect for evoking that sound. But the harpsichord's unique tone can also be a thrilling detail in contemporary productions too, and it's a useful tool in any composer's setup. We recorded these harpsichords at the Teldex scoring stage using the same techniques and microphone setup as with our other Berlin series collections, and we applied the same attention to detail at every step of the way. So the sound of these instruments blends perfectly with the Berlin series and all the other collections we've recorded at Teldex. The harpsichord is the predecessor to the piano and grand piano. The first instruments were probably built around the 14th century, and the instrument remained popular until the end of the 18th century. The instrument works with a plucking mechanism. The player presses a key, which raises a lever that plucks a string or multiple strings. It creates a very clean sound with little or no dynamics. The harpsichord was eventually superseded by the piano, which offered a range of dynamics and consequently expression, hence the original name, pianoforte. But in case you were wondering, that's why these harpsichords offer only one dynamic layer. We'll start out with a look at the French harpsichord. It's modeled after an instrument by Henry Hempsch from the mid-18th century. It has two manuals, essentially two keyboards, stacked on top of each other. And these manuals control three different sets of strings. The first manual has one set of eight-foot strings and a set of four-foot strings, which sound one octave higher. The second manual has its own set of eight-foot strings. Each of these string groups can be controlled individually or combined to play simultaneously. We captured the most common combinations with both sustained notes and staccato notes with two and three repetitions, respectively. Each set of strings has its own sound. The front eight strings, that is, the eight-foot strings on the lower keyboard, have a delicate, clear, and pristine tone, particularly useful for agile passages or detailed melodic lines. The back eight strings, you got it, the eight-foot strings on the upper keyboard, have a warmer and more rounded sound. Have a listen. We also capture the combination of both string sets played together for a thicker, more complex sound. This is the 2 times 8 patch. For an even richer sound, we also captured all three string sets playing together. With the additional octave, the sound cuts through nicely and offers a lot of detail and overtones. That's the 2 times 8 and 1 times 4 patch. Here's how it sounds. This harpsichord also has a harp or lute stop. This was a common feature back in the day and was intended to mimic the sound of the lute adding a little variety to the harpsichord's repertoire. The harp stop is a set of felt blocks that dampen the strings of the upper manual. And it sounds like this. To make sure we had all options covered, we also recorded an unusual staccato effect where the plectrum hit the string instead of plucking it to create a percussive effect. Now let's hear the Italian harpsichord. Expertly built by Marcus Fischinger and modeled after multiple Italian originals, it offers you a completely different flavor with a richer, more rounded, dark, and full-bodied tone compared to the crisp, clear, and bell-like tone of the French harpsichord. It's a smaller instrument with just one manual and two sets of eight-foot strings. Here, too, we captured each set of strings on its own and in combination with long and short notes in separate patches. Listen to the difference.
All right, it's time to take a look at the various mic options you get. So far, you've been listening to a combination of close mics, the surround, and the tree mics. But as with all Berlin Series products, you have six different mic positions in the sign mixer to dial in the exact sound you want. The two close mic options give you access to a more crystal and clear or a warmer, rounder tone. The instruments were recorded in the middle of the Teldex scoring stage, which gives you the ability to blend these instruments seamlessly with all of our other products of the Berlin series, as well as our other Teldex collections, such as our Baroque collection, Mirwa. To finish this walkthrough, here's a little piece that demonstrates how Berlin harpsichords can sound in context, in this case, with the strings, choir, brass, and woodwinds of Mirwa. It's a Baroque extravaganza, but with a contemporary edge, and that's how we like to think of the harpsichord in general. More than just Baroque. Thanks for watching.